In this video, I'm explaining Verizon's new unlimited plans. Plans so confusing, not even Verizon themselves had the correct information displayed on their website on day one. And in fact, they went back and revised some of the terms and conditions that are especially important for hotspot users. In this video, I'm explaining everything you need to know about Verizon's new plans. And of course, you can find links to these plans and more down in the video description. If you're interested, you can also check out my website, bestphoneplans.net, where I offer a detailed breakdown of the features included with each of the plans, as well as the added perks. With that said, let's dive into Verizon's new plans and how they compare with the old ones. Previously, Verizon offered four different unlimited plans. They had their start, play more, do more, and get more unlimited plans starting at $70 per month and going up to $90 per month. It's important to note all of these prices are listed with Verizon's $10 auto pay discount enabled. And to keep things consistent, I will list all of Verizon's plans throughout this video with that $10 auto pay discount enabled. These plans were first introduced on August 5th, 2019 and were available through August 19th, 2020. These plans pack some interesting features and perks, so let's quickly go through them. First up was the Start Unlimited Data Plan. This was $70 a month and included unlimited deprioritized data, a $10 add-on for getting 5G access, no support for the personal hotspot, 480p video streaming, Apple Music free for six months, and Disney Plus included for free for one year. The total value of these add-ons was $144. Next, Verizon had their Play More plan. This was $80 a month and included 25 gigs of premium data, 5G access, 15 gigs of LTE hotspot data, and then unlimited hotspot data capped at 600 kilobits per second, up to 720p video streaming, an Apple Music subscription included for free, and Disney Plus included for free for one year. The total value of these add-ons was $204 over the course of one year. The Do More plan included 50 gigs of premium data, 5G access, the same 15 gigs of hotspot data, before unlimited hotspot data at 600 kilobits per second, up to 480p video streaming, Apple Music included for free for six months, Disney Plus included for free for one year, 500 gigabytes of Verizon cloud storage, and 50% off a connected device plan. Again, the connected device plans include both tablet plans, which are normally $20 a month, or Apple Watch or wearable plans, which are usually $10 per month. The total value of these add-ons for one year was $324. And finally, Verizon had their most premium plan available, their Get More Unlimited plan for $90 per month. This plan included an impressive 75 gigs of premium data, 5G access, 30 gigabytes of LTE hotspot data, and then unlimited hotspot data at 600 kilobits per second, up to 720p video streaming, an Apple Music subscription included for free, Disney Plus included for free for one year, 500 gigabytes of Verizon cloud storage, and 50% off a connected device plan. The total value of these add-ons was an impressive $384 over the course of one year. One thing I want to mention about the perks is Disney Plus was included for free for one year the day it launched on December 12th, 2019. That was an amazing perk, again, available for all plans, and you'll see why that's important in a moment. Now let's move on to Verizon's new unlimited plans. These plans were introduced on August 20th, so literally just yesterday, and I'll walk you through exactly all the features that have changed right now. Let's start with Verizon's Start Unlimited plan. Pretty much everything remained the same here, except Disney Plus went from being included for free for one year to being included for free for only six months. As a result, the value add decreases from $144 down to just $102. Next, we have the Play More Unlimited plan. Here, the 25 gigs of premium data was upgraded to 50 gigs of premium data. Unfortunately, the Apple Music subscription went from being included to only being included for free for six months. And finally, the big one here is the Disney Plus subscription went from being one year free to now being included for free 
and it includes Disney+, Plus, Hulu, and ESPN+. Overall, the value add for Playmore increased from $204 to $216, so only a $12 difference, but still an improvement over a one-year period. Next, we have the Do More plan, and this also got some interesting changes, unfortunately not for the best. So the 50 gigs of premium data remains the same. Uh, the big change here is 480p video streaming is now increased to up to 720p video streaming. But a note here about video streaming on Verizon. With all of Verizon's new plans, the plans will default to 480p video streaming. What you need to do is go into your plan settings to enable up to 720p HD video streaming. When I chatted with a Verizon support representative, they said you only had to do this once. So once you enable HD video streaming, it will stay enabled, uh, but it is interesting. Verizon is defaulting to 480p, which in my opinion is a move on their end to help try and reduce the load on their network by default. The rest of the do more plan remained very similar. Unfortunately, Disney Plus dropped from that one year free trial down to just a six month free trial. The Verizon cloud storage increased from 500 gigabytes to 600 gigabytes, and you still get 50% off a connected device plan. Overall, unfortunately, the value add here actually dropped from $324 down to just $294. And to be getting the true value add of this plan, you would need to add a wearable or connected device such as an Apple Watch or a tablet, and you would need to take advantage of Verizon Cloud Storage. I personally wouldn't recommend this, as once your data is tied to Verizon Cloud, it would be a hassle to have to download it to transfer it to a different service if you eventually decided to switch from Verizon. But otherwise, I don't feel the do more plan got very good improvements with these updates. The plan that did get some pretty good improvements was the Get More plan. Unfortunately, the amount of premium data actually dropped here went from 75 gigs down to 50 gigs, 5G access, the 30 gigs of high-speed hotspot data, HD video streaming, and the Apple Music subscription continue to be included with this plan. What got an increase was the Disney Plus subscription. This went from being free for one year to now being included, and it is Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus. Similar to the Do More plan, Verizon Cloud also got upgraded to 600 gigabytes. This brings the total value add for one year period up from $384 to a whopping $468. So in my opinion, the Get More Unlimited plan got some nice added improvements. Unfortunately, the Do More Unlimited plan, I don't think it got improvements. I actually miss the included one-year subscription of Disney+. Plus. It is disappointing. Verizon dropped that down to six months for some of their plans. And the Play More plan did get some nice improvements as well with the increase to premium data and the included Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus subscription. Now, the one big feature I wanna to touch on is the mobile hotspot. Why do I wanna talk about this? Well, we had Sneed Mobile Tech from the SMT Nation doing an excellent video talking about the phrasing and wording Verizon had originally used in their terms of service, describing how after 15 gigs of hotspot usage, Instead of being fully throttled to 600 kilobits per second, if the tower wasn't congested and had the resources available, you would potentially get full speed LTE data as hotspot data, completely unlimited, included with your plan. Another channel that was following this closely was RV Mobile Internet Resource Center. RV Mobile Internet Resource Center even confirmed the change with a Verizon PR representative who authored the article describing the new plans. Now, despite all of this confidence going into these new plans and the change with the hotspot terminology, Verizon actually reverted back to the old wording. We don't know if this was miscommunication internally that caused a slight change in the wording that was communicated to us, which led us to believe as an audience, the hotspot features may have been changed, or if Verizon had changed the plans and then decided to revert that change 
uh, because potentially customers could abuse or overuse the features and they didn't want to add network strain to their network. If you're interested in learning about what the original wording was and how Verizon has reverted back on this change, I'll leave links to Sneed Mobile Tech and RV Mobile Internet Resource Center in the video description so you can check out their content and their full breakdown. What you need to know is Hotspot is exactly the same as it was before. You get 15 or 30 gigs of high-speed Hotspot data and then unlimited Hotspot data that is capped at 600 kilobits per second. Now of these plans and changes, which Verizon plan do I think is best? Well, honestly, I think it is the Play More Unlimited plan. This plan got a nice improvement with the Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus subscription included for free. And while it is sad that Apple Music is now a six month free trial, I do think in general, the Play More plan is the best overall value for most consumers. And if you need Apple Music, then it's a no brainer to upgrade to the Get More Unlimited plan so you can get the extra hotspot data and you can enjoy the added features of 600 gigabytes of Verizon cloud storage and 50% off a connected device plan. Now, one big caveat I wanna point out here is if you decide to take advantage of the value add perks, the free subscription to Apple Music and potentially the free trial to Disney Plus, those subscription services will auto renew at their full price after your free trial expires unless you live in New Mexico where they will automatically be canceled. But otherwise, you're adding essentially a $17 per month charge to your plan if you choose not to cancel those services. So on one hand, they seem like a really nice value add, but on the other hand, once those free trials expire, your bill will suddenly shoot up by over $170 per year. I'm not a big fan of this, I personally choose to purchase my cell phone plans based on what the plan provides as opposed to what added perks and benefits it includes. Uh, but yeah, something to be mindful of if you are considering these plans. Are these plans any good in terms of the rest of the industry? I personally feel Verizon's plans are best suited for families or with those who have multi-line accounts. For individuals, are these plans worth it? In my opinion, nope. I think the plans are too expensive, even with the added perks. Check this out. You can actually get a $40 unlimited plan from Visible and US Mobile. US Mobile with up to 50 gigs of LTE data. At the $40 per month price point, you can add on features such as Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus, Apple Music, and even Amazon Prime, and you would still end up paying only $76 per month and save yourself $48 a year compared with Verizon Do More or Play More. And remember, Verizon's plans were listed with a $10 auto pay discount enabled. Visible, they include all taxes and fees and the cost of their plan. And US Mobile, you will pay probably like five to $6 in taxes and fees, but the plan is still a really good value. And if you don't need Amazon Prime, you'll pay only $63 per month and save yourself $204 per year. Now, of course, the best plan that works for you will depend on what your needs are and what you're looking for. If you're looking to finance your device, get access to post-paid data priority on the Verizon network, or if you already have a multi-line account with Verizon, then yeah, I think Verizon is a really great option. They're a great option for some users, and in my opinion, better suited for those with multi-line accounts or family plans. If you're an individual, I personally think Visible and US Mobile offer tremendous value and can help you save a lot of money on your cell phone bill. And listen, that's what I'm all about here. If you're interested in learning more about Visible, you can check out my Visible review right here. And I also have more information on my website, bestphoneplans.net. In fact, you can click the little card icon right here to go ahead and visit the site. That's gonna be it for this video. Click the like button if you found it helpful. Subscribe for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.